Liz Truss against the Union, the next front in the culture wars. Liz Truss has vowed to take a hardline line on union actions that don't help people succeed in life. Photos. Liz Truss attempts to emulate her icon Margaret Thatcher to become Tory leader and Prime Minister are much welcomed. She has tried to distance herself from her comparisons, but she has one thing in common with her predecessor, that is, she took office at a time when the British economy was collapsing and the workforce was more rebellious than ever. Labor unions, angered by her 10.1% inflation above stagnant wages, are organizing a major industrial action that threatens to send Britain back to her 1970s woes. They reject the government's offer of her single-figure salary one by one and organize a strike election. Together they said, enough is enough. Their resistance is setting the stage for new fronts in the divisive culture wars and the trade unions are internal by adopting a variety of measures to impede the ability of the trust to engage in industrial action. Truss's new prime minister, Kwasi Kwarteng, confirmed this week that the government would introduce laws to make strikes more difficult. Trade Union Congress, TUC, Senior Policy Officer for Labor Rights Tim Sharp said, Some of the government seems to want to distract from this issue with a culture war against the unions. We held a leadership contest that required candidates to appeal to some of the more ideological members. Are on strike? Lawyers from the Railway Workers Union RMT and ASLEF, the Communications Workers Union, CWU, representing Royal Mail Workers, and the Criminal Bar Association, CBA, are here to discuss wages and working conditions. We are on strike for several weeks. Dockers, represented by Unite, have also gone on strike at Felixto Port, and he plans to strike again in September, in the shadow of a labour conference in Liverpool. The National Education Union, NU, the UK's largest education union representing teachers, lecturers and support staff, will launch a preliminary online vote to strike on 24 September, ahead of a formal vote in November. To do, RMT General Secretary Mick Lynch said Britain could be bogged down by a wave of strikes, hitting every sector of the economy. Photo by Ian Forsyth via Getty Images, Mick of RMT, he said Britain could be bogged down by a wave of strikes, hitting every sector of the economy. Photo, Ian Forsyth via Getty Images. The Royal College of Nursing, RCN, which includes half a million nurses, midwives, nursing aides and students, launched a mail-in ballot for strike action on September 15. Did, September 13. October. It will be the first time in union history that members in England and Wales will go on strike if enough members vote for industrial action. The British Medical Association, BMA, has also announced that the government will vote to take industrial action against England's young doctor if he cannot get his salary back to 2008 ninth levels by the end of this month. Citizens should be prepared for the disruption these strikes can bring to their daily lives, all schools in the country will be closed, leading to complete chaos, union sources say. Tens of thousands of hospital appointments have been cancelled. This is the price you pay for a Tory government that has cut its civil service. David Cameron's Trade Union Act of 2016 may provide some inspiration if you are considering ways to curb the law, described as the introduced measures, such as raising the standards for success in industrial voting. Also, the notice period within which trade unions must notify employers before going on strike has been extended from one week to two weeks. In a proper union the store's vote must have a 50% turnout for the results to be valid. A majority vote is required for the strike to proceed. However, in the case of workers providing essential public services, for a strike to be legal, not only must voter turnout reach 50% of his 40% support must be obtained. Unions fear new trust laws could introduce thresholds so high as to make strikes nearly impossible. They believe the definition of what counts as a public service could be expanded to include public transportation and subway drivers. If it goes in that direction there will be new legislation that's true, union sources say. Should not be. If the Tories use Acts of Parliament to redefine what constitutes public service, they will cover vast swathes of the private sector in one fell swoop. It can be made even more difficult. These laws are already among the strictest in all of Europe. Members when not working. Truss also proposed a cooling off period, so the union could not strike as often as it liked for six months after the vote. Tim Sharp says the impact of Truss's plans could make it more difficult to resolve union disputes. The industrial action we took was at the grassroots level, he told HuffPost UK. 
there is a risk of making labor dispute resolution more difficult. Strike days are common here and there, but when trade unions limit the frequency of industrial action, strike periods can be lengthened. Union, you have something else ahead.